Why are we here again? Van Buren's birthday. Great. That means we have to listen to old Golden Throat himself. Brandon. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's, dawn's early light what's so bright? He swallowed a bee! It's just a catastrophe, a catastrophe! I say. What are the odds of a bee stinging Brandon in the vocal cords? He won't be able to sing for months. Well, what are we going to do now? The PTA Spring Fling is in two weeks. I told Superintendent Skinner he'd hear the most magnificent national anthem in the district. Perhaps young Randall could fill in. Are you kidding? My Yorkshire Terrier sings better than Randall and we put her to sleep years ago. No, it's got to be some kid who can sing like Brandon. But who? Who? Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Where's that coming from? Nobody knows my sorrow. Hey, nobody It's coming knows from there. The trouble I've seen. No, no. <gasps> what did I do? Candy, son? Uh, thank you, sir. You know, son, you have a lovely singing voice. And we were hoping you'd use that voice to do us a little favor. Like what? Oh, just sing a little song at the spring fling. No, see, I sound really bad. Nonsense. You have a wonderful voice, a magnificent voice. No, really, I can't sing at all. Sure you can. Belt it out, son. But... Sing, darn it, sing! Nobody knows the trouble. All right, all right, enough already. You think he's faking it? No one can fake a voice that bad. But I know he can sing. I heard it myself. Perhaps we just have to drag it out of him. Yes, but how? Wait a minute. I heard about a music teacher over at Spiro T. Agnew Middle School. Where it is, she can get any kid to sing, and I mean any kid. Great. Get her. So Finster makes a call. Another sending over this wacko music teacher who tortures kids until they sing. Oh, it's horrible, you guys. Just horrible. But I don't get it. You sing great. I heard you once in the bathroom. Oh, sure, in the bathroom. Anybody can sing in the bathroom. But when I'm out here in front of people, I'm almost as bad as Benelli. Watch it, pal. You'll be hitting a new octave. Well, they're not going to make a fool out of me. No matter who this music teacher is. No matter how mean. No matter how nasty. They're not going to get me to sing. Not no way, not no how. Excuse me. Which one of you kids is Mikey? Uh, I am. Nice to meet you, Mikey. I'm Miss Salamone. I'm going to be your music teacher. We'll hold her off if you want to make a run for it. Shall we go to the music room? Yep, he's a tough nut to crack, all right. Okay, Mikey, I'm going to play and you just sing along. No, I can't sing. Oh, Mikey, anyone can sing. Singing is the most natural thing in the world. It's like... Breathing only for the soul. Breathing for the soul. Wow. Come on, sit down next to me and let's give it a try. Do you know Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, okay, that was very original. No, it was horrible. It was rotten. The only place I sound any good is in the bathroom. The bathroom, huh? I really don't think you're supposed to be here. Trust me, Mikey. Now, ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are I told you I was bad. No, not at all. In fact, let's try something a little more challenging. Yes, it's true, little brown jug, how I love you. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. Ha ha ha! Yes, it's true, little brown jug, how I love you. I thought we'd try something different today, Mikey. Singing with this blindfold will help you visualize the chords. Okay, Miss Almoney. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy over the love of you. Wonderful, Mikey. Now take off your blindfold. Hey, I sang without the bathroom stuff. That's right, Mikey. You did it all on your own. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Hey, Mikey, 
you're quite a celebrity. You know, all these years I never thought I was good at anything. But now, thanks to Miss Solomony, I realize I do have a talent. She must be one great teacher. She is, you guys. She's kind and beautiful and smart, and I love her. <laughs> Perhaps we were mistaken, Mikey, but we thought you just said you loved Miss Solomony. I do, and she loves me, too. Come on, man, you're only nine. Yeah, and she's old, really old. She's got to be at least 24. Aw, uh, you guys just don't get it. I love Miss Solomony, and she loves me, and I'll prove it to you. there you are. Antonio, this is the boy I was telling you about. Mikey, this is Antonio, my boyfriend. Ah, uh, fiancé. <laughs> I mean, fiancé. Antonio just returned from Costa Rica. He sings opera for Royal Hungarian Cruise Lines. Hello, Mikey. I'm glad to meet you. We're going to be married. <laughs> Mikey! Was it something I sang? Anybody heard from Mikey? Well, I called his house this morning. His mother said he went to school, but nobody's seen him. He'll show up. This is his big day. I don't know, you guys. You seem pretty upset. Oh, where is that too tiny double-crossing little kid? We've looked everywhere, sir. But Superintendent Skinner's gonna be here any minute. Where is that kid? Where? Mikey? Ah, a girl! <laughs> Mikey, is that you? Go away. But we've been looking all over for you. Everybody's worried. Even you? Of course, even me. Mikey, don't you want to come out and sing? Why? Just so Principal Prickly can keep his job. Oh, Mikey, that's ridiculous. He's the only reason you're here. And all this time, I thought you liked me. I do like you, Mikey. What about Antonio? Oh, you thought... Mikey, you're so sweet. Not sweet enough, I guess. Mikey, I've taught a lot of kids over the years. Some good, some not so good. But of all of them, you will always be my favorite. Really? Of course. You're a wonderful person. You're poetic and kind and sensitive. But you're nine years old, Mikey, and I'm... Well, I'm not. We could work it out. I know you're not going to believe this, Mikey, but someday you're going to meet someone your own age and she's going to be the luckiest girl in the world. Well, I'm still not going to sing. You don't have to, Mikey, but I wish you would. Not for Principal Prickly, not for me, but for yourself. Did you find him? Yes, I did. Great. Where is he? I'm not going to tell you, Principal Prickly. What? I'm sorry, but this is something Mikey has to figure out on his own. Now you're all against me! Principal Prickly! The superintendent's here! What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'll have to start the program without the national anthem. No national anthem? He's going to be furious. Uh, that's okay, Prickly. You can do it. You're a big man. Just go out there and explain that... No, don't make me do it. Please. Please. Sorry I'm late. It's you! Oh, bless your simple childish heart. Now get out there and sing, boy. Sing! Yes, sir. Look, it's Mikey! I told you he'd make it. I'd like to sing this, Miss Solomony. Okay, Mikey. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm supposed to sing the national anthem, but something important's happened, and, well, I think the nation will forgive me. Huh? What? Instead, I'd like to sing a song I've always known, but never really understood until now. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen Nobody knows my sorrow Nobody knows the trouble I've seen No, no, no Oh, I've seen a vision of light A vision But then one day That vision was gone 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 Cause nobody knows The trouble I've seen No, no, no Forget thee. So long, Mikey. 
See you in middle school.